Stay a while and listen. Hello, welcome to The Freak Show. Bumpy McSquiggums here. I want to thank you all for joining me as I start out my coverage of Tactics 5. Obsidian Brigade, it is by From Nothing Game Studios, and it's going to release in the third quarter of 2019. So in just a few months, it should be out, and you guys can grab it and play it for your very own selves and for the very first time. In fact, speaking of first times, it looks like I may be the first person to actually cover this. I've been following the game's development for uh, quite a while on, well, on Twitter, and the developer actually reached out to me, and he's like, hey, would you like to showcase this? I'm, I'm getting ready to kind of start looking for people to do it, and I was like, yeah, so I kind of get to bring his baby into the world, so to speak. That being said, let's hop in and begin. I have not actually touched this or played this yet at all, so we'll, we'll go with normal. We'll go with normal. Am I sure? Never sure, but we're going to try it. All right, I may switch over to a controller versus the keyboard and mouse. We'll see how it goes. I'm definitely willing to try each and every type of control, if need be. The land of Oria. Ruled by King Gauss of the monarch of House Orin. At the height of the land civilization, the noble houses ruling over different territories have often battled over the resources they own or the ideals of their heritage. Presently, Duke Samuel Riken, at the abnormally high age of 135, has ruled the territory of Lorin for 73 years. House Bojang rules over the territory of Pike. General Olivia of House Bojang has intent to take Lorin from Duke Samuel Riken, calling him unfit and is waging war on Lorin's western border. In these times of war, villages have only vigilantes, or vigilantes and mercenary bands to protect them from their roaming, or from the roaming bandits. That was a little bit faster than I would have liked. Uh, maybe, maybe a little bit. It seemed like it sped up and slowed down a little bit. Maybe a little more even pacing for that, or just a little bit slower for, you know, people like me that are reading it aloud. Makes it a little bit easier to actually catch up and keep up, I should say. All right, looks like we're heading into Lauren. Okay, I'm down with that. It's like we're loading a battle map, I'm assuming? I don't know. Let's grab the controller while this is going down. Marcus, bandits ahead. What if I hit this button? Aha. Huh. They have melee weapons. Do you need some guidance? Um, only a little. Alright, here we go. I love the art style. It's totally different than really much of anything that I've seen. So, bandit tutorial, kill the bandit leader. Somebody must survive. Durha, or whatever this dude's name is with the big wooden stick. Alright, Marcus says, tutorial combat is commenced in a turn-based fashion. Every combatant has their own turn, much like I enjoy in every game. When it is a player's turn, you can make a movement action, or and a non-movement action, using the menu on the left of the screen. Then the turn is over. Facing matters for weapon attacks. Don't expose yourself and make strikes from the side or the back. The rear for higher accuracy, rogue backstabs for example, only occur when attacking from the rear. So do be careful. Ooh, look at all the look at all the stuff on the screen. So we got move, attack, we have a weapon technique, we have throw rock, item, and turn, status, and strategic view. What's that do? Oh, I can look around the map. Okay. Who, who, who this? It's Heardy. Heardy, Heardy. Oh, gosh. Uh, okay, he's got 86 HP, which is still quite a bit. It's a lot higher than... Uh, okay, Eggerth, um, 93. Okay, I'm, I'm going to immediately... I'm going to immediately call out one thing I don't like. And it's probably just me, because I know there are a few games out there that have that. I am used to Final Fantasy Tactics, at least the newer one. I'm used to... It's possible maybe I just need to shift or, you know, like, twist the map a little bit or something. Oh, let's fast forward. Oh, it's a different... See, it makes sense in this regard. Anyhow, when you're in this uh, diagonal thing, I like to be able to press up and to actually move in this direction. Up toward the top left as opposed to up toward the top right. If that's something that can be changed, I would be eternally grateful because that's just what I'm used to. So, like 95% of the games that I play that are like this have that other method of moving. And when I play games like this that don't, I'm really, really, hard, I have a real hard time controlling my character. So, 
Just be aware that I might be making some mistakes. All right, so enough with the strategic view. Let's move and attack. They say attack from the side. I am going to overexpose myself here. Oh. Sorry, I'm just making the wrong move altogether. Weapon technique. I have none. Well, I'm not very good at this. I have an 88% chance to hit, and it will do 30 damage. Yeah. It's like my facing to end. Um, I'm worried that if I give him the high ground advantage, it's going to be really bad for me. Eh, well, we'll try it. Nicely done. Is it, though? Every action takes a different amount of time to do. They are listed as TU, or time units. That's interesting. The larger the amount of time units, the longer you have to wait to have another turn. Good, I like that. That's a good That's a good plan. So if you have to move further or do an action, it's all going to add up. Versus if you just move or just take an action or have to move less, it's going to actually take you less time. That's a, that's a good plan. You can always end your turn, which saves TU. Use the left bumper, left trigger, right bumper buttons to go to another perspective of the combat. Now, stop this bandit scum. I, you know, I'm I'm a little bit underwhelming right now. Oh, he doesn't hit very hard. Ooh, we countered. I was not expecting that, actually. That dude's ranged, didn't he? Yep. Oh, no, he pulled out a potion. Why? Oh, okay. Okay, so that's how you rotate. Uh, this is how you speed it up. All right, I like this. I really, really like this. All right, so we can move a little bit closer. Um, oh, we can undo the move? Oh, I love that. All right, I just want to see. We can confirm that. What if we just back out? We can't. Okay. All right, side attack. Let's go for it. Blam, 26 points. He is down and out and feeling pretty bad. And we're just going to ignore the other dude altogether? I, you, I knew you'd do fine, but there are more approaching. We need to deploy some more units. Take all of my share? Ultimately, I decide where we spend our gold. Maybe someday you'll have that responsibility. All right, well, I get the basic principles. There's a few things that I would do slightly different, but again, they don't matter in the grand scheme of things. So, like, um, not necessarily confirm your movement and then have your back button just back you out and undo the movement versus having to confirm it and having a separate action. But, again, it doesn't really matter in the grand scheme of things. These are just things that I'm thinking about. Okay, so we have Robert. I don't know, is that Clea? Clava? I got nothing. Klaua. We have Gwen and we have... Frithwi. Frithwi, a fighter, an archer, and another archer. Alright, well, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to throw Robert up there. Because I like Robert. Robert's my boy. Um, I guess we'll throw... She's a fighter, is she? Another archer up there. Because we, I feel like we have two fighters already. Uh, and then how about... Our road. Oh, we've reached our upper. Okay. You know what? That's fine. We'll, we'll, we'll leave the rogue for later. Deploy, press this button. Yeah, let's do this. Did you know that frogmen and bearmen are sentient and civilized members of Oria's society? I didn't know that. I do now, though. Alright. What horrible, horrible, bad, awful stuff is going to happen to me this time around. He's moving a lot up there. Look, how, look at him gesticulating like crazy. These bandits have ranged weapons. So does the last guy. Do you want some help? Uh, sure. Yeah, no. Yes, play ranged tutorial. I would like help. Teach me. All right, here we go. Everybody ready your weapons? I'm assuming high ground's going to be good. Kill all the bandits. Tutorial, your combatant's effectiveness is a sum of their core stats, their class, their equipment, and their assigned skills. Also, archers have improved range from higher elevations, so watch out. 
Cool, 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 cool. Hold X. Y. Oh, initiative tracker. Okay, so we get to see who's next. I like that. I like that a lot. Okay, cool. Um, so see what what's gonna happen here is I'm gonna move here, probably. And I'm gonna throw a rock. I'm gonna hit you in the face with it. Look what I found! Rock! That did not do anywhere near as much damage as I was hoping. I'm, I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little bit disappointed by that. I almost forgot. If you're impatient, you can speed up the battle with the right trigger. You can use consumable items to affect units. You have some health potions. Other status effects can be added or removed from items too. Uh, now let's save this town. Alright. You drank a potion. Alright. They seem very eager to, to pop their PP potion. Yes, I do know how that sounds. Oh, is it my turn now? I'm gonna move here, I think. And, ooh, do I have archery? Ooh, I got double shot. Requires 15 PP, and I have 30 something eight or so. 30 HP. What's it gonna do here? 31. Ah, sure. Double shot. We missed. That that's about right. This is RNG after all. We all know how my RNG goes. Not well. Charge shot. 3x. Okay. Sure. Target the unit. Oh, I love that. That's perfect. That's so good. Go ahead, move around. I'm still following you. You ain't getting away. Oh, I blocked! And I countered. Which I didn't actually hit, because of course I didn't. Go slap him with your billy club, friend. Slap him with the billy club. He's like, nope. 2 HP. It's 2 hit points I'll never get back. Oh, oh well, that's a little bit scary, man. You gotta be careful. I'm gonna see if I can't swing from up here. Do I have a weapon technique? I do not. Side hit, 26 points. Sure. Yeah, first try. Alright. Wait, I decided to change that. Ah, I hate it, sorry. I, I'm, I really struggle when it's not the way all the other games that I play are. Again, it's just me. Ooh, took you down. Very nice. Sweet, we can take to the high ground. Alright, I'm gonna try and outplay their archer with our own. Of course we're targeting the unit. Swing on him. Or her. Blocked. Well done. Dropping it on her. Oh, oh. That's... Oh, a backstab. You're a rogue. I am not a fan of that. Alright, can I use items on people? I'm going to assume yes. An alarm. Poison blast. That's up. Burn. Clea. Okay, you can use it on Clea. Sure. Here you go, girl. Yeah, girl. That's annoying. Oh, she's bleeding too. That's that's a tad unfortunate. She seems a little hobbled here. Our PP is done, so we're gonna have to go with basic attacks at this point. All right, friend. Not a tremendous amount, but it's okay. Oh, we get the move again. Sweet. 
All right, I'll move over here. I'm gonna swing on you. 27 points of damage. Would be a pretty low. You should back up, man. You're not backing up. You're just standing there toe to toe. Like, she gonna shoot you. Or oh, he can hit us in the back. Oh, but he missed! And that should be him just about dead. Like, one HP, maybe? Uh, there we go. Dang it. Why <laughs> does that surprise me? Uh, of course I missed. Of course I missed my absurdly high percent chance to hit. Why wouldn't I? There it is. I know I probably should, well, not probably, I absolutely should not have uh, attacked with with Robert there. I should have just moved uh, Durin. Durin? Let's call him Durin. I'm sure I'm butchering the names. It's kind of what I do. Send him on up there. Some blocks in there. Oh, that's gonna hurt. All right, we're gonna go there. I throw a rock. I don't know how good or bad it's going to be. One hit point, take him. Yeah. Absolutely not worth it. Though, you know, it's actually, I, I understand now why that's a, not a bad move. You can actually face people the way you want to face them. We still got some oomph. So 16 points if we land it. Follow that up and we'll have the other firm target. I'm facing, alright. Floomp, down he goes. Sweet, sweet victory is going to be ours. Alright, gonna roll out this way. And why not throw a rock? I will cast the first and only stones. That's right, look at me, fool. While he walks up and hits you from the side. Never saw it coming. Now, downside is she going back up. Oh, she's not. Oh, never mind. I take back my downside. I'm going to say the attack should be fine. No. I, uh, it's my fault. I was checking the, the, the power points or the PP, as it were. To see if maybe it was something that we regenerated slowly over time. It is not. Alright, we were victorious, we defeated all of our opponents, and we're feeling pretty good about it. I knew you'd do fine. I am kind of a big deal. In this town, it is safe again. Thank you. I, like I said, I'm kind of a big deal. Hundred fifty five gold, two health and resurrection potions each. 24 XP plus 19 SP. I'm not sure what that is. Specialty points, maybe? Don't know. I suppose we'll figure it out as time goes on. Okay. Well, I like what I see so far. It is advised that you spend skill points SP at the roster screen and save often. I agree. That does sound like a thing that I would like to do. In fact, two things that I'd like to do. The game is set to have hidden XP SP gains. This and similar options can be set by pressing start on the map screen. Oh, there are options. I didn't see any options from the opening main menu, so it's very possible. Ooh. XP hidden? Do I want to change that? I kind of want to see it visible. Normal is difficulty. And then I can exit to the title. Oh, I'm going to close the menu. I'm going to save the game before I do something that I'm going to severely regret. So we'll save here on file three. And there's training, there's roster. And then I guess we close and we're able to go do other things. 
Uh, let's see what the roster is all about. All right, we see our boys and or girls in... Uh, okay, we have Fighter, Defender, Archer, Archer, Fighter, and Rogue. Okay. Items and clothes. Let's go to training. Oh, it's that kind of... I thought that was going to be skill points. Can I, can I undeploy? I, I know I don't have enough. I can't back out of this? Oh, that's unfortunate. Alright, well... Well, I guess... I guess we're gonna go through a training uh, session or exercise. Not real sure what to think of this, but... Suppose we'll figure it out. Not really, I'm not ready for battle, but <laughs> surprise, it threw me into it. I guess that's cool. Oh, we're, we're fighting against ourselves. Oh, okay. I feel like you're not gonna do so well. Blue team can be, uh... wait, blue team will be me, player me, and red team will be AI. No. I feel like I got this. Well, this is an interesting thing that I have not really seen before. I feel like we have the advantage here. Oh, I still can't control uh, our defender. Interesting. Yep. All right, ugh, still doing it wrong. Even though I just did it like three times before, still doing it wrong because that's what I do. And view effect, what's that do? Interesting. All right, step forward. Oh, it's gonna take forever. Well, what better way than destroying our own people to train? I don't know. You tell me. I can't attack that far, right? Yeah, I didn't think so. <sighs> Onward for great justice. All right, turn is ended. We're rolling up, our defender's gonna step forward. And we're finally gonna be able to start doing some damage here. I hope you were prepared to get wrecked. I, I guess that's what's gonna happen, probably. Next up, Clea. Uh, Archery, double shot. I didn't like it. Obstructed, what? What was obstructing it? There's nothing in the way. Whatever. Did the, the little bush tree thing above me do something that obstructed it? Maybe? I don't, I don't know. I'm very confused. I was hoping to be able to level my people up, but apparently... I did something wrong? Ah, okay, I see one and two. Okay, that makes sense. I shall throw... No, I'm not gonna throw a rock at you. Just end my turn. You dare strike me when I'm going to counter? You fool. Attack. We're going for that backstab action. It was, it was sweet, sweet, nice. And here comes the arrow to finish you off. Critical hit. We defeated our own individuals. 
we're actually gaining experience and stuff. That's really weird. Is it fake experience? I, I don't I don't quite understand, but still it was interesting. Not what I was expecting. Yeah, so maybe it's under roster? It just seems like I I guess you can equip things here. Mounts? Oh, that's cool. Oh, I can just slice them up there. Oh, okay, that wasn't clear. Ah, that's so much better. So instead of going up and down here, if you press right, you actually start selecting the different characters at the top. Okay. Which would have been a bit more obvious with a mouse in this case. Okay. Okay, that makes sense. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, that is neither here nor there. In the next episode, I will go through and we'll do the training and all the other stuff, and we'll continue with our adventure, do some more battling and fighting. This is going to be one of those slow plays, at least until the game fully releases. So maybe once a week we'll do an update, maybe twice a week, something like that. And then as the game gets closer and closer to release, maybe we'll ramp it up a little bit, and then upon release we'll play it a bit more. It's a really fun game. I like it. I appreciate the developer reaching out to me. And, um, yeah, I can't wait to see what happens with the game and where it goes. If you guys do want more information about the game, where to get the game information on the developer or any of that wonderful fun stuff, I'll have it all down below in various links and things of that nature in the description. And stick around the channel, guys and gals, for more content like this and tons of other stuff. Till the very next episode, my name is Bumpy McSquiggums. Thank you so much for stopping by The Freak Show, and I will see you later.